Hey guys and here we are back with another one and as promised on the last video regarding the Munix U9H and I'll post the link right over here uh, here we are to take a quick look at the newest uh, wireless remote control from Minix, which is the A3. Now, I would like to start uh, this video by saying that I've got the A2 Lite here and the A2, and that the A3 is very similar, but I will leave this um, to the conclusion, my opinion, and so on and so forth. Let's focus on the A3, and by the way, uh, I would also like to add here at the beginning that these remotes are intended to be used in Minix devices. Uh, they will have some features that work on other Android TV boxes, especially the deep pads and uh, home button and so on and so forth but um those buttons that are special to this remote, like the power on and off, uh, the options and the microphone and so on and so forth, will only work on a Minix device. So if you have a Minix device, probably this is the best uh, wireless remote that we can get, uh, either one of these, not only the A3, but if you have another Android TV box, then probably this is not the best option. And that said, let's start with the connection of this uh, remote, which is through USB, like uh, the A2 and A2 Lite, we have a USB dongle, we just need to um, insert in the box and there we go, it is connected. Uh, it is powered by uh, two AAA batteries and this is great because it lasts a long time. I've seen a lot of Android uh, remotes with internal batteries that only last one, two or three weeks. These tend to last months. Now getting into the functions, the first one that I want to um, talk about is the air mouse functionality which I've covered in most of my videos this is my favorite uh, function on any wireless remote not just these but any wireless remote it's very useful uh, we have a dedicated button which we will see in just a few seconds and I would also like to mention the keyboard which is another key factor for these uh, remotes it is very useful uh, especially when we want to type any text <laughs> if we don't want we don't need a keyboard but <laughs> just joking uh, if we are browsing the web, um, if we are searching for something, then the uh, keyboard will be very useful. And in terms of comfort, I don't see any change uh, from the A2 or A2 Lite. The rubber feels the same, so uh, it is really nice and a great option. Also, Minix claims that it has a new technology on the 6-axis uh, gyroscope. And honestly, this is something very hard for me to tell if it's different or not, because we have to feel it. I did test it out in a game. By the way, the gyroscope uh, will let us use the air mouse and also some games. Um, like beach buggy but I personally don't use it. Uh, the function exists and we can use it that way. I don't use it to play games. That, that's what I mean. Uh, but as I was saying it is one of those functions that is really hard uh, to tell any difference from uh, the other two remotes because I don't feel any difference. Those two um, were great and still are. I'm using the A2 Lite on my day-to-day -day usage and the same happens with the A3. So any of these will give me uh, great results and I cannot uh, uh, say if it's improved or not. I do believe Minix but I cannot tell any difference. Now moving on to the LEDs. Uh, we've got uh, five LEDs but only four uh, that light up. So as you can see on the image there, the left um, activity LED uh, is um, appears or turns on every time that we press any button. Uh, if the box is connected to or if the USB dongle is connected to the box, it will uh, light up. But if it's not, then it won't uh, light up. Then we have the middle light, which won't light up at all. I don't think it has any uh, usefulness and then on the right side we have the um, the microphone uh, LED which will light up when the microphone is active when we are using. Then at the back we have the caps uh, lock uh, LED and also the um, FEN key uh, LED which will be activated when we activate one of those keys. And that is it regarding the main features. Now let's go to the keys uh, itself and let's start from top to bottom, uh, left to right, and we have the power button uh, which works great. It works exactly the same as the A2 Lite and A2. It will turn off completely uh, an Android TV box made by Minix and it will turn on uh, that box. This is not an easy function to find on wireless remotes. Um, there are a few, a few sorry, infrared remotes. I've got one here from Zido, which does exactly that. Turns off the Zido 6 
um, um, X6 Pro, sorry, that is connected to my uh, um, display right over here in my DSLR. And you guys that know my setup, know how I use it. But this just to say that I can turn on and off this six, um, X6 Pro with this infrared remote, but there aren't, um, if uh, at least that I know of, there aren't wireless remote controls across uh, these uh, Android TV boxes that uh, or a general Android TV box remote control that can do this in a wireless only infrared. So in this particular case uh, to use this particular box I would need two. One to turn on the machine and then another one to have the uh, air mouse functionality and so on and so forth. So this is just an example that uh, it is very useful this um, power button. Now, it is useful to some point because honestly, <laughs> I personally tend to, to leave my boxes in standby mode. So I wasted two minutes <laughs> talking about something that I personally don't use that much, but I do see uh, the, um, the usefulness of it and that is it. <laughs> this is it uh, as best as I could share with you guys. Now there is a new button on the top here which is the settings button. Now this settings button as the name indicates it will take us to the settings. This button did not exist on the A2 and A2 uh, light. It is useful. Um, being as honest as I can, if it didn't exist I wouldn't die. <laughs> I would keep my life uh, normal, no, no. So it is a nice touch, but nothing that um, that serious. Now, also we have um, right over here on the center. The first button on the center is um, for the uh, apps that are running on the background. So when we press it, we will see uh, all the apps that are running, and then we can, uh, of course. Uh, close them or select any of them and that is it. Next we have the menu button, very useful as well. Uh, on any app that we are, when we press it, we will have the options for that uh, particular item or for that particular um, app. For example, if we, are, if we are on our launcher, uh, which I usually use uh, KKM launcher, um, then we press it and it will show us the launcher options. If we are on Kodi and I've got a particular series or movie or uh, something else, it will show me uh, the options for that particular item. So it is, um, it is a very uh, good um, feature that was present in uh, the A2, the A2. Uh, two lights, sorry, A2 and now the A3. Next we have the home button, which is uh, a button that is always uh, or almost always present in any remote control and I'm talking about wireless remotes only uh, and this works across uh, almost every machine that I've used. Um, it is useful if we are on any particular app and we want to go to the home screen then um, we just need to uh, press it and there we go. Now at the center we have the directional pads um, up, down, left, right and the select button which uh, to be honest is probably the ones that I use most frequently every single day and a lot of times uh, <laughs> when I'm uh, browsing Kodi or uh, browsing something that I need to press up and down and uh, here it is. This is, this is well, uh, if I can say so, necessary, <laughs> mandatory uh, to say the least. Then we have another set of buttons starting with the left. Uh, once again, we have the back uh, button which will take us one level uh, back. This is very useful in Kodi, for example, when we are browsing a TV series or a our movie library and we want to go back one level uh, it will take us back and so very useful. Now we have another button next which is the microphone. This is a new uh, button on the A2 and A2 Lite we had a different button which was to go back um, to uh, the home screen and uh, here we have the microphone button. Now I'm not sure if it was to go back to the home screen of it or if it was a select button as well. I'm not really sure about this so um, as soon as I discover it I'll post something around here on the uh, video or I will leave something on the video description. But moving on we have a new button on the A3 which is the microphone uh, which will be useful for those of you that like to do voice search. Now we need to uh, press on the Google search um, on that microphone icon and then we activate it uh, pressing this microphone button and then we can search for anything. This is very useful when we're searching uh, on Google or searching on uh, YouTube which is um, uh, very useful especially for those that uh, give 
uh, intensive usage to this. Personally, guys, I don't see myself using it a lot. That was the reason that uh, I've used the A2 Lite instead of the A2 for most um, most of the time uh, and I've said this on many videos ago uh, especially on the remote comparison uh, especially because I don't tend to use the microphone I prefer to uh, I don't do a lot of search that's that's the way that I use Android TV boxes I do see the value of it but I don't personally use it so um, here it is my personal usage is more on the A2 light because it doesn't have a microphone which I don't really need so depending on your usage uh, you will need to see if you need a microphone or not and if the price difference uh, it's worth it for you or not next we have the uh, air mouse uh, button which will start and stop the air mouse functionality which is as I said one of the most uh, important uh, features uh, to me at least then we have the volume up and down which as the name <laughs> says will uh, um, put our volume up and down and then we have at the center the app drawer list uh, this one will take us to all the apps that we have installed in our box but it will only work on the Minix Metro UI uh, launcher which um, it is the launcher that comes pre-installed with any Minix uh, device. If we use other uh, launchers, this button will not work. At least the, the launchers that I use, this button did not work. And finally, we have the media playback buttons right at the bottom. And these are the play, pause, fast forward and rewind. And they are very useful in apps uh, to, to watch media. <laughs> Kodi, uh, YouTube and so on and so forth where we can fast forward directly without using the code menus for example or the uh, YouTube uh, menus we can just press these buttons and and then fast forward and uh, or rewind if we want to and guys this is it basically regarding the A3 uh, remote control wireless remote control to be more precise and um, now as a conclusion I'm not going to say any pros and cons as I usually do on my videos because this is one of my favorite remote controls well uh, the, the a2 light is my favorite remote control uh, and now as a conclusion all I want to share is if you have already a a2 or a a2 lights or, or a2 I see no need to upgrade to a a3 unless you have more than one Android TV box and you don't want to carry around your USB dongle and be connecting which is boring uh, to another so if you don't have um, sorry on the other hand if you have already one of these wireless remotes I don't see a need to, uh, to upgrade to this one um, if you don't have one then probably the a3 is the smartest choice at this moment it is the recent one it has the microphone which might be useful for some of you um, I don't see myself using it a lot but it is useful so this is it guys it is a great remote control I wanted to, sh to share uh, the functions with you because I didn't do on the past with these two I did just a general review of a lot of uh, um, remote controls and some comparisons where I elected this one as my favorite because it's the one that I use on every sing single day or almost every day uh, when I use any Android TV box this is my go-to remote I've got another one that I usually use here in my videos which is a cheap uh, wireless remote control uh, costs about five years and works great works a lot better than any infrared remote control but when I compare one of these with one of these it's night and day and when I compare one of these with one of these it's night and day so <laughs> and so on and so on. just watch the video about remote controls and you know what I mean guys um, this is it regarding the A3 uh, we are with a lot of time I wanted to keep it as short as possible when I do this uh, type of videos right over here uh, without voiceovers the videos tend to take longer but that's the way it goes hopefully I didn't waste, waste too much of your time hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Robert George and as always I'll see you on the next one